I'm going to show you how to restart your Samsung Galaxy S10 and above, S10, S20, S21, S22, and so on without using the power button or any other buttons, okay? So maybe your power button is broken or whatnot. So I'm going to show you the two ways how you can restart the phone without using any of the, uh, the buttons, okay? So the first way is uh, go ahead and sign in to your phone and then go ahead and bring down notifications. So just go to the top here, slide down. And then from here, we're going to slide down one more time. And then once we do that, slide down again. Keep on sliding all the way down. And then we're going to see the power button right there. Tap on the power button, and you can tap on the restart from there. Okay, now the second way is using this assistant menu here. What you can do is just tap on that right there. And then from here, just move over to the left one, and it says power off menu. Tap on that, and you can go ahead and uh, restart from there. Okay, now first thing is you need to go ahead and activate or enable this assistive assistant touch right here. And how you do that is first thing is we have to go to your settings here. So just go ahead and scroll scroll up from the uh, the middle of the home screen again. Look for your settings. So there's my settings right there. And then from here I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to accessibility. So we're going to go down, down until you see accessibility right there. Let's tap on that. And then from here, we're going to tap on right here, interaction and dexterity. Let's tap on that. And the assistant menu is right here. I currently have it toggled on. If I go ahead and turn it off and click turn off down here, that's going to disappear. Okay, so if I, I'm going to turn it back on, oops, turn it back on right there, tap on allow, and here's that menu right here. And this menu always stays in the foreground, doesn't matter where you go. Okay, it always stays here. So again, just tap it and then slide to the left and then the power off menu is here we can go ahead and restart from there all right pretty simple questions or issues just comment below